Here's what's new in Blackmagic's new A10 Mini Extreme ISO G2. It's got a redesigned look with tactile camera buttons, new audio buttons, and even a brand new audio interface, and the addition of a fader or T-bar, so you can now do manual transitions. On the back, you've got an additional HDMI output, so you've got three now instead of two, giving you greater flexibility as you can route any source to them. There's now more professional audio input as well, with two XLR combo inputs on the back, so you can plug in XLR or quarter inch TRS connectors. They've even added MADI in, allowing you to bring in up to 32 channels of digital audio. There's the addition of a Thunderbolt connection now, allowing you to bring in two channels of video into your ATEM, which can be key and fill, and send one channel of video out from the ATEM, for example, a multi-view. They've added a CF Express card slot, so you don't have to worry about recording onto external SSDs. And a big one, the ATEM now has a 10 gigabit ethernet port, allowing you to record over the network to a network storage device. And in the future, Blackmagic say they may allow you to bring in remote cameras over ethernet as well, using their SMPTE 2110 IP protocol. But still no 4K on these devices. And if you wanna find out why that might be, check out the full video on my channel now.